you may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We can handle Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Please let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Ramsay Snow is no Lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My Lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. 
What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm sorry, Mother. But I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me? I hear you. But this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. You emerged from Lady Marjorie's room. I just want you to know, I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now, and for you as well. You needn't worry about me, and I can take care of myself, which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry, I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Sir Roiland. He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the... Thank you, Lord Dad. The... That's enough.
Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill. Can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about you. The crown, however, wants what you got. Whatever you've been supplying the start for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little You can't trust a Forester. They murdered our men. It was a Forester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier there. One vault. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your wall. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. White Hill men, never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not 